Hello friends, this video on Amines part 27 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take some numericals here. The first question says that how will you convert 4 nitrotoluene to 2 bromobenzoic acid? So let's see this. This is my toluene. 4 nitro, 1, 2, 3, 4. I have to convert this to 2 bromobenzoic acid. This is my benzoic acid. At 2 position, I am a bromine. See, what I can do first is I can first add bromine to it. So, a bromine will be added here. Correct? Now, the second thing I can do is once I have bromine here, I can remove the NO2 group. I can remove the NO2 group pretty easily. How? I can make it NH2 and then I can make it diazonium salt. Once I have diazonium salt, I can just react with, just heat it up, the n 2 cl will go. Right? Or I can use a milder reducing agent like ethanol. I can use that. And then once my anode, this is gone, this CH3 can easily oxidize to COH. So let's try. So I have this CH3, NO2. First thing I can add bromine here. And the next target is to remove this NO2 now. To remove this NO2, what I can do is I can use this SNNHCl. I can reduce this actually by adding hydrogen, or I can use H plus and tin now. This H and tin, hydrogen and tin also we can use. So what will happen is this will become NH2. Once it is NH2, I can convert this to diazonium salt. To convert to diazonium salt, what you do is you react and then to it HCl. So with this, what you get is N2Cl. Now I can reduce this with maybe this guy, ethanol or H3PO2. Now with this what will happen is N2Cl will go off. It will be replaced with the hydrogen here. So what we will get is this component and there will be hydrogen here correct now I can just oxidize it I can take some KMnO4 and oxidize this this will CS3 will become COH and Br is retained this is my product correct so I could easily convert 4 nitro toluene to 2 bromobenzoic acid. Let's see how can we convert 3 methyl aniline to 3 nitro toluene. So 3 methyl aniline, this is my aniline. 1, 2, 3, at 3 position I have a methyl through 3 nitro toluene. This is my toluene. And at 3 position, I have a nitro group. Or since CS3, CS3 is matching, so let me put CS3 here. 1, 2, 3, I have a nitro group. So the only thing I have to do is this NH2 I have to convert to NO2. Correct? So how can I do it? So NH2 I can convert to my diazonium salt. Correct, and from diazonium salt, if I convert into trifluoroboric acid, that is uh, into BF four minus, and from there I can just convert this to NO two. We have seen this reaction. You have to heat this with NaNO two and copper. So let's start. The first thing is let me convert into diazonium salt the low temperature. So 
So what will happen is this will give me n to Cl and Cst will be here. Correct. Now I have to convert this first to react this with HBF4 to convert this into N to BF4 minus because this is the one that can be converted to NO2 VFC. This is the only one. So we had now react with NaNO2 in presence of copper and heat it. So what will happen is this N2 will be replaced with NO2. CS3 has to be here. CS3 is maintained. And that is what I was looking for. Correct. And in this reaction, you get nitrogen as output, and you'll also get NBF4. Correct. So we have seen this kind of reactions. The next is we have to convert aniline to 135 tribromobenzene. I have an aniline here. I have to convert into tribromobenzene. This is this is one, two, three, four, five. You have to convert from here to here. See, I have to do two things here. The first thing is I have to add bromine, and the next thing I have to remove the NH two. So let's first add bromine. It's pretty easy. Bromine water. So if I do in NH2, what will happen is at this position, this position, and this position, ortho and para, it will add bromine. Now the next challenge is after you have NH2, same thing I have to do. I have to create diazonium salt for this. I'll react with NaNO2 in HCl. So with this. This bromine will be intact and NH2 will be converted to N2 Cl. Correct. Now, if I want to reduce, I can use alcohol C2H5OH or H3PO4. So, what will happen is N2PO, N2 Cl will be converted to H. So, with this, if you see, if this becomes H, this is the compound I am looking for. Right? Both are same actually. So we have to account for this that PKB of aniline is more than methylamine. That means aniline is less basic than methylamine. So we have seen this actually that more is the PKB, less basic is the compound. Correct? PKB, please note it's not KB. More is the KB, more basic is the compound. But more is the PKB, less basic is the compound because PKB is nothing but minus log of KB. Correct. So that means aniline is less basic than methylamine. And we already know. Why? Because there are two reasons. Let's compare these two. The first thing is this guy is electron releasing group. So this, this nitrogen has more of electrons, more electron density, so it will react more, right? It can easily accept plus charge. This is electron withdrawing group. So even if you let's suppose add H plus to it because it's a basic in nature. NH3 plus and here you get CH3 NH3 plus. Now if you see in both case this is more stable because of CH3 is giving electrons to this nitrogen and this is more stable because the positive charge CH3 is giving electron. So the charge is delocalized and this is more stable. Here if you see this whole thing benzene ring is electron withdrawing. So nitrogen already had positive charge plus it withdraws electrons. So overall it has more positive charge. So this is unstable. 
this is one way to look at it the other is if you draw the resulting structure which i will not draw now you will see that this has almost five resulting structure and this has only two so with that we conclude that this in this case this reactant is more stable than the product since reactant is more stable than the product this reaction will not happen that much correct and thus it will be less basic correct thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching